Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sunday Best. Woo! With the two tea bags, episode twenty-one. Wow! Yeah. I'm so excited. Did you know twenty-one is my favorite number? Oh, crazy! Do you listen to Savage Twenty-One Savage? <laughs> two one, baby. Two one. That's what my did you do on your twenty-first, bro? I was poor, bro. I didn't do much. Eh? I was very broke, dude. But I think I was in university. I was just chilling with the homies, man. Yeah. But you never had a crazy party. I remember everyone talking about no, the 21st. I don't, I don't do parties for my birthday. I'm not a party guy. Oh, yeah, you like on your birthday, you're just like, I'm okay, nice, leave me alone, yeah, bro. bro. I'm, I'm alone down, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to cry. <laughs> Aging again. Mm-hmm. Because have you ever noticed, dude, like crying on your birthday is like a thing you got to do. Yo, I, have I cried on my birthday? Have I been sad on your birthday? Is that why you're crying? Me, I mean, good cry, I, I, joy. <laughs> Tears of joy on your birthday. Hmm. Oh, can get emotional, I guess. Yeah, hmm. if you really, really think about it, another, another what year on the planets? You know, another, another rotation around the sun. The, the yeah, sun that's yeah. the saying. Yes, the sun, yes, yeah. yes. If you think about it that way, yeah, it can be very heavy, but it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Your birthday's coming up, man. Yeah. yeah. Any plans? I don't know, but I drove, you know, when I got on your way here, like on my way here to your place, I drove past that Il Contendino, that nice restaurant that... Oh, yes, 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 that Italian, what, what, yes, yeah. yes, yes. The one my, my, my girl took through that party for, bro, and was, all of you guys were there, and, and I remember Tanya, and you guys were fighting, it was so funny. Bro. I had a fight with the girlfriend, bro. It was and one Olivia, of like my friend, she just went up and said, guys, and gave them a lecture. Oh my so God, funny, dude. Yes, That That was lit, bro. I had, some, I had a blast that night, bro. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. It was my, it was was my birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was just another motherfucking day. <laughs> so it was just for you to just like on my birthday. It was just Saturday. On my birthday, I want I want good sex. I want good food, and yeah, we'll watch a movie or just hang out. That would be cool. But yeah, no like party parties, but good food. I don't know. I like sex. to party, bro. I like to get lit. You like to get lit, yeah, huh? No, I like yeah. it. Like, mm-hmm. Even at the at my high school reunion on the weekend, I got lit. Yeah. Like it was, it was a sh- it's it's a dodgy uh, club, but because uh, lots of school kids, school children, in my game. Okay. Because no one like when you become an adult, you leave that town, or you just raise your own kids. Yes, town, yes, you know. Yes, yes. So it was filled with children. So yeah, <laughs> so nice going to club and it's just, just children. <laughs> Yo, bro, yeah. it's a dangerous situation, bro. Yo, like you said, you couldn't recognize anybody's age; they all look the same. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I can't tell if this person is. What, is this is a 16 year old a 28 year old or a 38 year old like, yeah can i see your id yeah it's one of those eh? it's yeah. one of those bro. i mean even some of the my old high school like seniors and stuff when i looked at them i was like this person hasn't changed she still looks exactly the way i remember them they haven't aged at all like their skin is amazing were you a prefect in high school, bro? I was, bro. Yeah. Ah, fucking like, hell. When I, I, saw some, some I saw some kids crossing the cross of the green, I was like, you motherfucker, get off the cross! You're the motherfucker that gave me demerits. I fucking... No, I didn't, we didn't have power to give demerits. We just, did like, you, kind did of... Did you give break detention or detention? Yeah, we'd give lines. Like Give lines, huh? Like, tell kids to do lines. Like, I will not cross, <laughs> cross the grass again. <laughs> No, I once I also used to get line, like like detention. I was also actually a rascal. There was a whole thing about a rascal. <laughs> I should have been a prefect or not. You yeah, know, I was a big rascal. I almost became a prefect, but I was just short a couple of votes. Damn it! Yeah, so that's the thing. Oh yeah, it was votes and stuff. So my year, it wasn't votes from the school. It was teachers who decided it. Oh, game changer! Yeah, should so they all like, chose the mm. fucking nerds, bro. <laughs> so I was like, what? Are we, yo. And then they left me out. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? You guys just leave me out here. They're like, no, you're not mature enough. You're, you're a bit of a class clown. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck you guys. These kids respect me. Fuck you guys. Out here doing tight fives. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. Those one liners. Shit, man. Yeah, bro. Comedy was good this week, though, in the vault. It was, was nice to get back on the horse, bro. So, yeah, I got a couple oh, yeah, of gigs yeah. coming up. So, it's good to see you in the vault. Yeah, the comedy scene's dope now, bro. It's, it's, yeah, it's I must fruitful. Get, I must get back in. It looks, it's looking like it's. The sketches are really nice. So I'm, I'm enjoying that at the moment. 
Yes, I saw the latest one. Did you I've been been busy writing actually. I've got a couple of ones I've written down. Oh, nice. But I saw the latest one on Prince where he get, where he's getting chased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I was there when we shot that. We were, we did it together. Yeah. All of us. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. But it's nice. But I don't get the gag. It's it's more like the gag is like. You know, I, mean, I don't really know how to explain it. I get the humor, <laughs> but I'm, I didn't write. The, I didn't write. The, I didn't write <laughs> okay, the, I'm not attacking. I'm, I'm saying I didn't write the bit. I'm not attacking. All I'm saying is I didn't write the bit. <laughs> and no one's getting attacked. This is yeah. a safe space. No, but mm-hmm. I, I get the humor. It's more like you're trying to get away, and yeah, you can't you can't get caught slipping in Joburg, you know, because you could get mugged, you know. It's, yes, that's what but I mean. he gets away. The guy he, he gets just, away. He starts disappears. running. Mm. Yeah. Why was Eb that <laughs> <laughs> It's getting typecasted, yeah, guys. Come on, it was man. so funny we were talking about that, bro. I was like, hey, bro, I had to play an Indian sh- Pakistani shop or Pakistani shop owner in the last <laughs> bit that I acted in. So deal with it. Bro. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's like the third time people. And he was like, yo, we should do one with you again. So my, my friend, I'm like, dude, I'm done doing that shit, bro. I don't wanna- <laughs> Hey man, a gig is a gig. Hey, He's Chubby Chubb. Yes. Type costed. And speaking of uh, jobs. Oh, snap. Well, jobs for sportsmen. EFF calls for regulation of Springbok tickets. So, a lot of you, Springbok, you know, South Africa is the land of rugby. Yes. We love our rugby. <laughs> yeah. Know, our rugby, rugby crazy country, man. Yeah, no, we are. I mean, we're the best, we're the most dominant team in the last, I don't know. 15 years yeah dude now the EF is trying to regulate that shit <laughs> <laughs> to regulate that success no regulate the price want, tickets we also want some of that that green and gold pie yeah man uh, like it's it's uh it's a, supposed to be a brand for the country well that's how the, how they sell it as well the spring box yeah I mean it is it's if you think about like it's inclusive it's supposed to be yeah also i mean sport is always a, a thing that brings the na- people together you know as well yeah you know and also from a marketing point of view like i remember when i went to sri lanka and meeting these kids in like school they asked if we played rugby and i you know they're like how can you play rugby so big in south africa like, it's the thing it's big for you yeah yeah bro so a lot of our sports is like through private we talked about this about cricket Private schooling education, bro. A lot of these Springboks went to private schools. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Our, yeah. our school did not have a rugby team. We scraped a sevens team. Really? Yeah. Scraped a sevens touch team, I think it was. A seven, it was just a sevens team, yeah. We had to hustle. And the dudes weren't even South African. They were, like, from Malawi and Zambia. Oh, snap. So Trying to get that green card. <laughs> that Springbok green card, boy. No, they were just rugby fans. They liked the sport, and they wanted a team. So they created one. And then they went and played in Botswana. <laughs> Yes, so it's like Botswana schools versus you know schools. So have you played rugby? Fuck no, dude. I I tried it once. I went to yeah, it was even. I think I played it once in high school, in primary school, and my mom said no, because she's like, you can play any sport you want except boxing and rugby. Yeah, they didn't have it in my school, my primary and my high school didn't have it. So I went after high school to some like university practice. These guys were fucking big. <laughs> this dude ran me over. Like, literally just bulldozed me and I never came back, dude. You're like, no, I, I almost good. cried as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, no, my ball needs to be round and orange. <laughs> I mean, no egg. We're going to get an orange. <laughs> Can we bounce the ball? Can we bounce? Fuck like this. Why does it <laughs> bounce evenly? I'm out of here, guys. Basketball was the one. <laughs> Yeah, but it's it's crazy. Those guys are athletes, bro. That's what's insane about it. even the fat guys in the front. Those guys are athletes, dude. Dude, like the locks and what do you call the hookers? The props and the locks and the hookers. Yeah. That's the first time when I heard the term hooker, I was like, wait a minute. But why isn't he wearing a short skirt? <laughs> How much? <laughs> too much apparently to the EFF <laughs> too much to the EFF bro you yeah, can't so afford our hookers <laughs> they can't afford of these hookers a springbok hooker how much a springbok hooker <laughs> how much for a thousand to see this hooker ah yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you need to regulate du, 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 du. he's being <laughs> orangey oh no you just do that <laughs> <laughs> regulate man what's that Ned Dog is in that song shout out to Ned Dog rest yeah, in peace yeah R.I.P man Ned Dog um 
Yeah, to so it was like four thousand rand ticket. Did you? Were you thinking? I remember we were talking about this about getting tickets. Oh, here's Dan Cora talking about it. Educate us, Dan. Welcome to the show, Dan Cora. <laughs> Dude, I swear we've spoken about this in a previous episode. First time I've seen this, bro. Three. It worked first time. Bro. That never happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. Four thousand rand a ticket, and those are official ticket sales. It's not scalpers who people have been trying to buy tickets. I don't know about the term scalpers like recently, bro. You know what a scalper is? They sell fake tickets or pre-sold tickets or second-hand tickets. Yeah. So even like um, so like the PS PlayStation Five Pro had this limited edition that was in, in what do you call this? In the original PlayStation colors. So scalpers went and bought them, sold out, and now they're gonna mark the price up. And I saw the thirty-year anniversary PlayStation yeah. editions. They so dope. Lots of anniversaries, bro. School anniversary PlayStation. Oh, my my childhood. PS <laughs> <laughs> had an anniversary as well. Very wealthiest ticket sellers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
A lot. Uh, so it says, watch. Lerner arrives at matric dance in an ambulance. Whoop, whoop. Can you imagine, bro? Where's, where can we watch here? Hey, but no. Yo, is there an IV drip? Ah, coming back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that acting, bro. It's fire. I'm here. Ah, shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious, bro. So, bro, if you could turn back the hands of time, and money if was a I thing, could turn. <laughs> to your last reunion, to your very first time, matric dance, what would you go as? Sky's the limit, bro. I wouldn't change anything, bro. I would fucking run prom king, bro. Why the fuck nah. would I change it? <laughs> Had them cornrows tight. <laughs> Dripping in all stars, bro. Shit, bro. So, yo. Even though I went in like, I don't know, maybe in a Suzu bike. So you're quite successful in high school, yeah? Shit. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say successful. I mean, I had a good experience. I had a good experience. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. I know some. So some people either get bullied or bully. Maybe I was a bully. <laughs> I don't know. No, I was trying to be nice to everyone. I think sometimes. Did you get physical with anybody? No, I didn't fight, dude. I was just. Use your words, huh? Yeah, I just had a potty mouth. Uh, so, I mean, what's I just stand up? <laughs> protect myself. This thing protects me. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, your, it's your Harry Potter wand. It's my Harry Potter wand. <laughs> bro. I don't know what they say, bro. Keep, <laughs> keep inventing your own thing, bro. <laughs> and I got no confidence in what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, if I could go back, what would I go as? Because I was not a prom king. Did they have that though? Was the first prince? I was snap. Oh, mm. oh snap! <laughs> Crying lame, then becoming Will Smith. I was the first prince, yeah. And then, um, Yo, but the budget for this as well, bro, it's amazing, dude. Ugh, it's, it's so hire an ambulance. No, it's mm. probably her mom or a family that works as in the hospital or works as a paramedic and organizes things. That's how it works, bro. And like, yeah. so like this, apparently the one year in our school. This lady came. This girl, she came in a heli in a helicopter, bro. Yeah, it gets crazy out here, bro. And she had a whole like, a, two gangs of motorcyclists come in, when she landed in the helicopter. What is the point of it? Or you just want to cut all your friends? What's going on, dude? You just want to show off and be braggadocious? I don't know. I just think it's like, status flexing. Thing. I'm gonna go there with, my <laughs> sorry, with your spring bucket. Hey, with the spring bucket tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at the joke already. That's my bad. So funny, bro. My bad. Oh, my bad. Go there, flexing your Springbok tickets. <laughs> Just throwing Springbok tickets in the air. A whole suit of Springbok tickets. Oh my word! A suit made That's of so I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start buying Springbok tickets and selling them bro, on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, become a uh, <laughs> a scalp, not scalp, a scal scandal, a scalpel, a scalpel. Is there a scalper? A scalper. A scalper. Yeah. Mm. When you take off the scalp, it sounds like a dirty term. To yeah, I think that of that scene should... in um, in Glorious Bastards when they cut that scalp off. Yes. Also in uh, Idle Hands when the lead singer of what's that band called? You talking about Idle Hands? That horror with the f with the hand, yeah. And then they had that band performing. In yeah, the... this is that's a throwback, bro. And then the hand comes and pulls yes. the scalp off. Yes. His, his scalp. That's a throwback, dude. Fuck, you went way back, eh? Yeah, yes. Like, like childhood, it's ETV, bro. baba. <laughs> it was on ETV, no? And no, it was on ETV. Yeah, I that movie. It was, it was, it was, video it was a good video store show, a movie, sorry. Yeah, very good. We used to do those things where you could hire... Yo, dude, I wonder if kids, these like these kids, Gen Z kids, you show them a, a tape, what what they, what, they, what they think it is. Yeah, bro. Well, like, yeah, I guess the way we look at vinyls is the way they'll look at that shit. Yo, I should get a VCR, bro, and just get stacks of, like, tapes. And just be, like, one of these vintage... Uh, There's an analog video store, yeah, up the road, bro. It's crazy. Shit, dude, you could find some old-school classic porn, bro. You can find, like, random shit porn. You can, like, stand-up. Oh, like, imagine finding random porn. fucking stand-up. Imagine finding old stand-up, bro. Mm, it can be, like, quite a thing, dude. Like finding like old like David Gao or yeah. Does that PlayStation like Five Pro Godfrey. play DVDs and like CDs and shit? Or is it just like it does play DVDs, bro? DVDs. Yeah, even my my PS Five plays DVDs. 
It's a DVD player. Play. It's a Blu-ray player. Bro. A Blu-ray, yeah. I think getting Blu-ray would be dope if you like a movie that you really like and shit. That's that's, that's a fucking great idea, bro. That's a jam. Bro. I should go buy some Blu-rays. Yeah. You gotta waste this money one way or another. <laughs> just have it as a collector, like Interstellar. Be you like Interstellar? Oh, yeah, I know you hate it. Yeah. Shit. You, you hate fucking Christopher Nolan, dude. Yeah, I didn't like most of his stuff. It's just, there's one. he's got one or two bangers, though. And a, Interstellar was a banger for you. <sighs> dude. Sure. You know, it's it's, it's the 30th it. anniversary. <laughs> so many anniversaries. Good God. <laughs> it's his anniversary as one. It's playing in the in UK in the movie theaters. It's like, and it's made the top 10. Interstellar was 30 years ago. No, like 10. It was about 10. I thought you feel old. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I remember watching that shit in my hey, teens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a metric dance, man. I had a good one, bro. Yeah, it was nice. This, yeah, didn't this, you say mm-hmm. your date? You had a date and you. She was from Shoshan Groove. Oh, yeah, Shoshan Groove. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was a long good. drive back. Yo, that's also what I remember. When you didn't smash. I almost smashed. I caught it to smash. I, I oh, at least you hooked up with her. I, I hooked up, but I didn't smash. We used to call it grazing. Like if you make grazing. Out, <laughs> if you make out with a chick, did you graze, bro? I mean, I grazed. <laughs> I grazed, bro. Uh, Shana is grazed, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, like, a stock, like, you know, like you're a cow or whatever, and you're grazing the field. So you got like, something, something at least, then. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, but then back in high school, yo, we were horny as fuck, bro. Yeah, I know, because your home was all, all over the bro, place. Bro, and, yo, the girls look fresh, and uh, it was itchy, man. I remember at at mm-hmm. in, at the one... um. The after the after party from prom, we called it prom. So we were at some club, and one dude was trying to hook up with some girl. He had like blood on his pants. What? Mm. It was super weird, bro. Where did you get the blood from? I don't know. I think maybe the chick was still on a period. Oh, she didn't have a tampon. Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. Something happened. <laughs> that sounds. That's what happened in um. Bad, bad, super bad, super bad. Yes, super when the guy had blood stains. Yeah, exactly period, what yeah. happened on super bad. Yeah, I remember I, we, there was this girl, like we, was this friend of mine from like back in the day who said she had like a crush on me. Oh snap, you uh, dog, you, the prom king over here. No man, it was like, it was a varsity, like she, we had a thing. Oh, but anyway, um, there was a time her and like a group of friends, like we went out to Spur and she was sitting next to me and like when we were all done eating, she like, I got out and then like she got out and there was like a, a like a, I thought it was tomato sauce, bro. <laughs> so I, on the seat, I was like, who spilled tomato sauce? And I picked it up and I, I didn't put it in my mouth. I smelled it first because obviously you smell before you eat something. And when I smelled it, I was like, this is not tomato sauce. That's ovaries, man. Shit. Dude, dead <laughs> ovaries. It's fucking dead eggs, bro. I was like, I didn't ask for eggs. The eggs are overdone. I didn't order this. I didn't order <laughs> eggs with my wings. And why are they overdone? Jeez, <laughs> 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 bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of almost being overdone, check this video out where this person dies. There's another member check Don's uh, buffoonery thing. Buff- so much buff- buffoonery. <laughs> wow, you're calling it that, bro. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. TikTok is oh, us down. TikTok desktop don't work. Oh, here we go. TikTok. TikTok desktop don't work. Shit, it doesn't work, huh? Refresh. Refresh. Wow. Let's go again. Is this, is this what is this? What's 702, Prime, bro? You Prime bastards. Media Plus. Is the link. Play it, play it. Come on, come on. I'm willing it on, but it doesn't want to. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that this car crashed or someone fell off. We, we that, we'll we'll let you go. let us know in the comment <laughs> section if you've seen this video. Yeah, because this bit this crashed like this car probably crashed. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what we're assuming. Anyway, from almost dying to almost dying, fake doctor <laughs> with grade nine performs penis enlargement surgeries for twenty years before being bust. Damn. Yo, those big dicks look wonky, bro. Imagine having a grade nine big dick. 
Yes. Yo, dude, yes. your dick surgeon doesn't it's got a have great name. a doc doesn't have a degree. Think this from grade nine science, bro. Yo, bro. Yeah, it's now you leave there with a toad dick. Yo, dude, what are you cutting up in the dick, bro? What's happening, bro? What are you? Are you just you adding? How do you extend though? Like, do you cut a piece of muscle from somewhere else in the body and add it onto your dick, and then it extends? Is it like <laughs> how, how do you do penis enlargement surgery? Is this a picture of like <laughs> Doja Cat or porn or something? Like, it's the one way to get your dick bigger. It's just watch porn. Mm. Many men feel insecure mm. about <laughs> their sex organs. <laughs> Yo, dude, I don't have that thing, bro. I'm grateful for that, dude. I don't have that thing either, bro. Like, I don't need a Porsche. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's for me. I just think about: Have I given women orgasms before? And I'm just like, yeah, that's that's a yes. So what am I worried about? They're dudes with fucking 20-inch dicks and they've never made a woman come. So it's just like... Hey, it's not facts, what, bro. What a waste. Yeah, man. You know, you got this... Are limous, you having sex? You got this you enjoying sex? And you're not enjoying the ride. Also, is the other person enjoying the sex? Yeah, exactly. Sex is about two people. I remember... We, I mean, Can't be like thinking about the size of my dick and all that stuff, bro. But it is at that stage now where one round, one round finishes you, eh? The endurance is a problem. What the? Oh, is it in great? Is this? Did it, this happen in Thailand? <clears throat> There's a banana. What does that mean? Oh, it is. It is in. It's in Thailand, bro. Oh, okay. Yo, this guy must have make. Must have been making bank, bro. Asian dicks, bro. But was he making dicks bigger or was he removing dicks? Oh, that's it. Was another, you know, because that's another place like that. Dicks get removed <laughs> and they get sent here. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> then they give you a massage. Uh, it's a cock up, <laughs> and then you don't know if you know your massage is, is too good. Yo, hectic, bro. <laughs> you know? Yes, like, yeah. strong. The man's are strong. He's, yeah, he's taking dicks off, creating jobs. Yes, he, bro. yeah, bro. <laughs> he was creating jobs. <laughs> now this guy's going to jail. This guy was a humanitarian, dude, doing the Lord's work. Yeah. Yeah, no, yo. Never worried about the 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 penis thing, the size of it. Some women worry about the size of their vagina, apparently. Yeah. The like capacity of it. You know what's interesting, dude? Do you ever feel like this is going to be a con contrary <laughs> to popular opinion? That's going to be very edgy. Are you mansplaining? What's happening? But Kuchi can, for me, like I, I feel like Kuchi can be too tight. Like it's not as fun. Oh shit! Damn, I never thought about that. As long as it's, it's not dr too dry or dry at all. No, but I think it can be too tight as well for me. Like I, I think it'll be. Too I prefer a bit more. I prefer sludgy Kuchi. Of a <laughs> that's what that's what I'm saying. I think it would be too shallow as well. Can it be too shallow? Well, for me, <laughs> I went to this guy. After I went to this guy, I was snap. Oh, <laughs> dude, I don't think pussy can get shallow. <laughs> I think if you give pussy, you become shallow. <laughs> if you, yo, okay, it's, fair, fair, fair. Mm -hmm. here. <laughs> it's not a podcast; it's a poem. What's up? It's a spoken word podcast. Do you think there's spoken word podcast? Yo, dude. Is there a podcast about poetry and where they do poetry? Is there a podcast about podcasts? We should do that. I think we, yeah, we, we just review podcasts. <laughs> Plots us. We've been doing that since day one. That would be so funny, dude, watching a podcast where they review other people's podcasts. <laughs> Yo. So I like the way... <laughs> <laughs> he talks about this topic, yeah. Yeah, that yeah this is a really good mm. podcast. They discuss these topics. and Yes, sir. Imagine reviewing a Joe Rogan podcast. Yes, sir, dude. I just think those things are so epically long, bro. Like three, four. I don't know who watches three-hour podcasts. It must, you must, like, yo, dude, he drops one, like, every three days, dude. Is his audience chowing his content like that? That's the thing, dude. Like, these guys would, like, I mean, 
our show is between like 45 to an hour at most. And yeah, I, I personally think like that, I mean, it's well known. That's more than enough. It's a well known I'll fact that 45 minutes is what the human brain can focus on. Nah, that's a good time, bro. We don't overstay our welcome, I'm sure. Yeah, the I'm audience sure you guys appreciate that. that. Yeah, yeah, they probably mm-hmm. appreciate that. I'm sure some of them don't even make it this far. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> they don't overstay their welcome as yeah, well. Yeah, as well. They're also like, oh, I've given you your view, I'm out. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, good Ooh. times. Good times. Yeah, no dick problems. Yeah, but had him, man. If yeah, you went man. to this doctor, grade nine. Maybe it was a genius grade nine. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Yeah, anyway, from the love language to languages. Snap. What's South Africa's new school language law and why is it controversial? You tell me, Gav, why is it controversial? He come cock. He come cock, bro. So, so it's called Bella. Bella. Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill. Something, so they want to sort of like phase out Afrikaans. Yeah. I in schools as a first language or a second language. Or was it like, I'm what is the vibe of this Bella Bill? The new amendment modifies all the school laws in the country, the South African Schools Act of 1996 and the Employment of Educators Act of 1998. It includes new provisions such as ban on corporal punishment. Composite grade levels for children starting school and increased scrutiny for homeschooling. Because what's the language uh, part of this thing? What they what they doing with the language? So this clause allows schools to develop and choose their language of instruction out of South Africa's eleven official languages, as well as their administration policy. However, it also gives the National Department of Basic Education a final authority, allowing it to override any decisions. Until now, school boards had the highest authority on languages and admissions. So I guess I just worry that some like African schools. Why are some African speakers upset? <laughs> so is it well, African is a mixture of Dutch, vernacular, German, and native Khoisan languages. Damn, bro, I didn't know that. You didn't know that, bro. Have you never been on the Cape Town uh, Red Bus tour? I didn't know German was there as well. Derm- Dutch makes sense, and Khoisan, Khoisan. is interesting. Yo, that's savor Afrikaans. That's savor. Afrikaans. Savor. So that are the government schools eradicate, eradicating it from the syllabus? Or is it like you can choose? <clears throat> because if you can choose, that's fine, bro. Choose what you want to learn, bro. Yeah, I mean, if you want to teach your kids, I guess if you want to have 11 official languages, then you should have it be taught in every school. You better have 11 teachers ready to teach that shit. Yeah, new jobs. Yeah, true, huh? Yeah, every tribe gets a job. <laughs> Snap, bro. It's genius, dude. Genius, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is everybody going to get paid the same, though? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. Tonga. How much money you want? You wish. <laughs> Tell you, no, they'll be like, they'll base it on difficulty. This is not on numbers. I think Vendor will be at the at the bottom. <laughs> Isn't that Movango? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I mean, I personally think Vendor is the most difficult African language of all the eleven languages in South Africa. Oh, okay. Which one do you think is the most difficult? I think they're all difficult, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Because yeah, you're white. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, yo, they but all gotta. Dude, like in KZN, the parts in South Africa where you've got like white guys speaking. Fluent Vanak, bro. Yeah, it's all like, well, I'm Pretoria, you know, so it's Dumela, Tumalang. So yours is more like Totita. Like, like, with like a mixture, like Pretoria has its own like language as well, yeah? Yeah, it's that, I like that. Uh, I think it's Sutu, right? So it's all, yeah, it's like a mixture of Setswana, Peri, Zulu, a little bit of, yeah, it's it's a sprinkle of Africa. Setswana and Sutu, yeah. It's a sprinkle of everything because, you know, there's like urban hubs of, a mixture of all sorts of yeah yeah well like speaking about high schools yeah like everybody every every 
nationality was at my government school so yeah it was was a nationality mix. you mean every tribe every tribe yes yeah. <laughs> jeez bro nationality there like, was a kenyan I thought, guy i thought you mm. went to an international school i thought i went to an international school if you got every nationality <laughs> yeah so my were, mine actually mm. had people from all over the world dude. we had that's fire do we have a guy from brazil there were people from the uk from the states all over africa i mean from cameroon yes that's so cool bro zambia we had people from australia as well was that an australian i think it was an australian i'm not sure if it was an australian but yeah australia mate yeah so we had people from all over so it was so amazing dude that was amazing bro like many people from all over the world bro like i remember this american kid didn't couldn't believe that um africa had air Yeah, yeah. He thought oxygen. the U- yeah he thought mm. the U.S. sends boxes of oxygen for us to <laughs> breathe. I was like, geez, bro, do you think we're that dependent on you? Whoa, brother! And also, don't you understand how the atmosphere works? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> oh, yes. someone send this guy to geography right now. <laughs> yeah. Get him out of that schooling system. Get that shit out of his brain, dude, bro. Get that SAT <laughs> shit out of your head, bro. Like. <laughs> Jeez. That's how you end up voting for Trump, bro. Do or Kamala. Who, oh, it's snap. The same, it's the same mm. shit. Oh, snap. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fair. Well, do you think um, Afrikaans is going to be extinct? It's quite interesting, though, because... I mean, it's why would it get extinct? As long as there's South Africans who speak it, it'll stay. It, it'll get extinct from, like literature unless like Oranya comes and stays with the but I don't think it will survive beyond verbal yeah I think like I mean it could stay literature could stay as well I mean I think about my like native language which is Sing- Singhala it's like but if you think about like the word lacquer you think now I'm like saying do you think the word lacquer will ever be extinct no I think probably will that will just be forever it'll be lacquer ever. forever bro <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be lacquer forever bro You're an optimist. Like a Susan Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> like a suit Natchez. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, dude. So I don't think it was. Afrikaans, just chill, man. Relax. Nothing bad's going to happen. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> hood in the must, hood. Yeah, you must relax. I mean, it's not yeah. going to go away soon. But I won't be speaking Afrikaans anytime soon. No, 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 no. Yeah, but Afrikaans is a young language. And uh, speaking of young things, yes, yes. <laughs> Sean Diddy Combs charged with racketeering and sex trafficking. <coughs> Yo, man. So yeah, man, this dude was also so fucked up. So he's not Diddy anymore. He's did it. He did it, man. He did it too much. Yeah, and a lot of people were saying, "Don't do it." <laughs> he definitely did it. It's crazy. Did you see Usher deleted all his tweets? Apparently got hacked. That's what he says. <laughs> When you get hacked, bro, your shit doesn't get deleted. <laughs> These are not my confessions. <laughs> These are you know, dude, this guy deletes his confessions fast, bro. Just when I thought I could say all I could say, I can't delete. <laughs> I should let them burn. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, the thousand like baby oil bottles. It's yeah, the, the the oil joke. They found like a around. thousand, a thousand Johnson and Jeez, Johnson. Bro, I mean, that's probably why America invaded his house. <laughs> For Pete did his oil. That's where they this fucked the up. Trouble. We're gonna go to Pete did his house. We're gonna bomb it. For all that oil. <laughs> <laughs> This oil is straight from fucking the mountains of Afghanistan, Pete did I mean, how many people from Texas were living in Diddy's house, bro? Shit, man. What else? Oh, I mean, like apparently they had these things called freak offs, where it was like a sex. I don't know if you've heard about like a sex, sex competition, more than three people, and then after these freak offs, they would have an IV drip so people could like, you know, refresh and and get hard again, get and stamina again, shit, and just man, recover like- and just recover from the freak off, dude. That sounds like a proper party, man. It does sound like fun. <laughs> It does sound like fun. Yo, I think everybody's jealous because I think the only people that are sour are people who didn't get invited to the Diddy party, <laughs> bro. That's why people are sour. If you went to a Diddy party, you shut the fuck up. Bro. You had fun. Bro. You had fun, bro. <laughs> you had fun, bro. 
I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I'm sorry I missed out on a Diddy party, bro. That must be a moral <laughs> conundrum, man, with all this stuff. Like, and if you were at a P Diddy, like Justin Bieber or Usher, and you were just like, yo, man, I had really a good time that <laughs> night. <laughs> I forgot about all my problems. <laughs> dude, but there was a video circulating of Justin Bieber sucking dick, dude, at one of those parties. It's crazy. Is that for real? Is yeah, that like, dude, I, like AI shit. No, dude, it's real. It's like this. Did you watch this video? I watched this video. You don't you don't see the dick, but like the camera goes down and this uh, this footballer, some some Beckham or whatever, not the soccer player, the American footballer. He's there and then you just see Bieber pull up and turn to the camera, his lips are Wins. Yo, dude, shit, so sad, bro. That's heavy, bro. And then right after, pulled it, I was like, baby, <laughs> baby, baby, oh. He was actually saying no. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, baby, no. Uh, shit, that's heavy, bro. Yo. So apparently, he's on suicide watch. Bieber. Uh. <laughs> Maybe as well, but P D D. So people definitely be on suicide watch. <laughs> so once they find out what they did to him. <laughs> yeah. 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 So like no, what's that Epstein guy? He he must he committed suicide. Oh, yeah. you mean they're gonna see if Diddy's gonna fake his death too? Yeah. Because you know Epstein's chilling he's somewhere. Gonna snitch. He's chilling on another island molesting kids. Snitch on Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. <laughs> Who did he? Yeah. Didn't, didn't the Obamas go to a Diddy party? Hey, man, everybody hey. was there. Hey. <laughs> Brady Mandela was there once as well. I think so. Hey, bro, he's there doing his thing, bro. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. But yeah, it sounds like a good time, man. So unfortunately, it wasn't consensual, apparently. I think that's the problem. Yeah, a lot of ch- there was a lot of child, like... No, there was a lot of, like, ch- like actual human trafficking. He was getting hoes from different area codes no that's ludicrous bro. <laughs> that's ludicrous how could that be happening <laughs> this is ludicrous it is it is he's mm. the one who goes different uh way. god hoes <laughs> and they talk shout out again yeah but this, so i mean obviously this guy's gonna be a bad boy for life yeah <laughs> and obviously he's going to jail so he ain't going nowhere <laughs> he ain't i saw like a, a post a photo with, like no wonder, like, um, B.I.G. needed to be cross-eyed. Because you know B.I.G. Yeah, crazy. I saw that meme, dude. So you can keep an eye, <laughs> keep an eye on Diddy. <laughs> one, one eye on Diddy, bro. I saw that meme. And that photo, the one eye is checking P.D. Yeah, it's so funny, bro. Oh. P.D. is producing there. Yeah. That was cock funny. I was also a bit by Jamie Foxx. But, like, fronting on, on Diddy. Because him and J.Lo were friends on In Living Color. Yeah, okay, you fair. Remember she was one of the it girls on Yes. And yeah, so the pretty Diddy got pissed off at Jesus when he was around J Lo. And he does like a whole bit where he shows how Diddy walks into the <laughs> he's that do that dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit, hey, yo. Damn it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. America's going to turn this whole thing into a scandal and documentary. It's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, 50's already getting paid big bucks by Netflix, bro. Like, 50's like one of the fucking greatest, like, businessmen around. Dude. Yeah, he did a, he did a very cool, he's like Jay-Z, but in his own way. The way yeah. He, did, he, he went into entrepreneurship after rap. Yeah. It's very, very clever. It's very good. Living up to his name, man. He but likes do you money. Think, but this guy, I I feel like a lot of this is like a distraction from what's really going on in the world. What the fuck is really going on in the you world? You see, because we don't know. We were fucking watching Diddy getting, having sex with kids. Ish. What's about, what is going on? It's all that free Palestine stuff again, eh? Ish. L'chaim, bro. L'chaim. 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 <laughs> Hopefully that, that sorts of stuff out, yo. Yeah, hopefully that shit sorts itself out. I mean, <laughs> that's how we view war now. Hey, man, you guys just better sort your shit out, man. <laughs> I don't want to pick a side. Yeah, Jesus. I don't want to pick a side. Dude. I'm not educated enough. Exactly, bro. <laughs> that's that's very interesting, eh? I'm not educated enough to pick a side. Unless you're telling me Palestine is PDD and no, <laughs> Israel, <laughs> Israel is PDD. Which people make it out to be and Palestine and the kids. Palestine are the prostitutes that weren't paid. Those prostitutes, these are children, bro. 
to a kid. Was it the children at PDD's house? Is yeah, that the real thing? Yeah, it's also like fucking pedophilia sh- shit. Pedophilia I mean, stuff. I, know. I mean, Justin Bieber was in his teens, bro, when you're sucking that dick. You see, I don't know if that's facts or that's uh, AI, bro. We need to do research because... This is sex trafficking. Do you man. think they're going to make an AI of Justin Bieber sucking dick? Hell yeah, bro. Dog fantasy vibes, bro. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Who's on you porn checking for Justin Bieber sucking dick? How did you find this video, bro? I didn't find it. How did you I find mean, it? I'm a hip-hop group, hip-hop chats, and these guys were saying this is true, and then they threw that video in there. Hip-hop chats. <laughs> okay, that's your source. <laughs> Someone threw the video in there, and it's an actual legit video from an old party. In a fucking newspaper, Let, bro. We watch it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, we will get well, canceled. I'll show it to you, like the, like the way that dude who shows you the stabbing video. Yeah, we mm-hmm. talked about it last yeah. time, man. Yeah, shit, yeah, that's rude, yo. Hey, watch what P did did. Yeah, yeah, imagine, dude. The video's gonna come out. The did Netflix documentary. Did you see that video? Fire. Did you know what? Like him beating Cassie, bro. Yeah, so that was heavy, eh? The, I was like, before, I, I don't understand why we didn't arrest him at that point. Like, why did it have to get to this point? Apparently, he used Cassie as well as, like, a, as a hoe or whatever. Or a, oh, shit. The audacity, Like, he pimped bro. her out and shit. The audacity, bro. That beautiful creature. Oh, dude. Hey, yes, see, man. It clearly wasn't just me and you. <laughs> it's no, everybody. No. It's a freak off. I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> think you're gonna, you think you're gonna make that move? Shame that poor girl couldn't sing it. Eh? Yes, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. she definitely wasn't an, uh, like a strong singer, like a Dao or something. But hey, eh? nice to look at. She's very nice to look at. She's on greener pastures, at least. Yeah, I'm happy for her. She's free of the shackles. The Didi show. She was put out a book. Maybe do a cooking show. Have her own talk show. She can make. She can make money from this, eh? Yeah. She yeah. Can Would you want to make money from your trauma? You can make money from your trauma, bro. Yeah, it's called stand-up comedy. <laughs> it's called know, being stand-up comedy. I don't know how much money we make from it. Hey, that's true. That's more trauma. <laughs> the fact, yeah, it's more traumatic. No, the amount we make from it. <laughs> no, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I can't wait for it. It is what it is. It is what it is. You're definitely gonna be a fired Netflix documentary once it comes out. Yeah. How many people are gonna fall with him? That's interesting. Yeah, they're seeing a lot of people involved in this, bro, because so many people went to them parties, bro. Do you think they signed NDAs when they enter the party? Probably not, yeah. That's kind of a turn off. Yeah, I can't get my dick hard while I just mm. put my signature on my paper. <laughs> oh god, I'm leaving, guys. <laughs> it's all too formal. Too formal, bro. Yeah, but I think in Germany they have those sex clubs, eh? You don't have to go to Germany to find a sex club, to be honest. You think there's one in South Africa? Yeah, I'm sure there is. In Cape Town, like, because that's a weird situation. I mean, I, I remember hearing about things in Vasti about, like, you could get invited to these exclusive parties where you wear a mask and everybody's naked. But then you just, you just it's like, you, people hook up with each other. Jesus, yes, sus, fucking hell, bro. Unprotected or protected sex? Hey, bro, I don't know. I've never been to a party, <laughs> bro. You know, you're asking me too many questions. I don't know why people do that. They ask you more details of something you've never been to. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. Did they wear a condom? Yeah, I know. Would you go to one of those, bro? Like, hell yeah. <laughs> We were just talking about how oh, fuck, I'm so bummed I never got to a Diddy party, bro. I know. We, we, Ain't no we, party like a Diddy party because the Diddy party don't stop. I don't know. I would be a bit insecure about walking around naked with other people. And just, wow, you just spoke about how Peter says I know. was like, no, 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 you want to go to Thailand, I, I, bro. You go to that doctor again before I go to a Diddy party. Dr. Long. <laughs> Dr. Long is the pills you take, bro. At the garage. I want to go to the sauce. I want no middleman. I want to see Dr. Long personally. We don't even know his name is Dr. Long. We just added that in there, bro. It's obviously making penises longer, so. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Diddy, yes. Yeah, mm. hey, Diddy. <laughs> yes. Sean. Ah, uh, Sean. Sean Puffy Combs. Sean. What did you do, Sean? Sean Combs. What is it like in the court? What is the. Because they say their names. They say the, the whole. Are they going to say all the old ones? PDD. Probably known as. Mm-hmm. Probably known as. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the the defendant, the defendant. Yeah. Yes, the defendant. It'll be the state against Didier. 
Ja, das ist der gegen Stevie, die gegen Sean. Ja, ne, ey. Ich hab this guy forgot to pay his Illuminati money. <lacht> He skipped the bill. Ja, yeah, his Illuminati rent. So we're like, hey, what's that? We we're like, okay, dude, no, you're you gonna pay. cancel your subscription. Pay, cancel your subscription, <lacht> you're done, bro. Your Illuminati, your Illuminati subscription. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of subscription, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, guys. snap. Yeah. Now at the end of this, the, the episode. Thanks again, guys, for, for tuning in. Let's yeah, you know, guys, girls, everything in between. Leave a comment. Let us know, man. Let us know. Give us some tips. Yeah, let us know. Would you have ever gone to a PDD party, bro? Uh, let us know, man. What do you think a PDD party was? And also, would you go see a, a doctor to get your dick bigger to go to a D party, you know? Yeah, and would you pay two Springbok tickets for a big dick and a D party? Yeah, and then also, what language would you speak there? <laughs> What would be your safe word? In what language? Yeah. Lacquer! <laughs> lacquer! <laughs> lacquer. My safe word is lacquer. My safe word is that's not that's the worst safe word ever, bro. Lacquer! Mine would be moi. <laughs> oh my god, my god. And yeah, anyway, hopefully you go to a Diddy party like you were going to a matric dance, bro. But don't be flamboyant, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Um, episode I'm 21. Re- we are. We peace. Are, peace.